Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to depart a little bit from the virtual tour and go east up the St. Joe River around this bend and over here to the Eberhardt Municipal Golf Course. In 1929, the Frederick G. Eberhardt family donated land to the city of Mishawaka to build a public golf course. Then in 1943, the Works Project Administration developed a nine-hole course on the north side of the St. Joe River. And I've watched a lot of videos where they talk about golf courses hiding things. I mean, what better way? And here's a little bit about F.G. Eberhardt. He was a manufacturer and banker, was born in Mishawaka, St. Joseph County, April 1st, 1864. He was a very predominant man in the Mishawaka area. He oversaw a lot of offices. He had many positions in the city. People used to come to him for advice. So he had a lot of pull. So when the Miami club shut down, he bought the land, which is now the golf course. So what is there? What did they not want anybody to find? I mean, even when you're playing golf, you have to, if you make a divot, you have to put the grass back and make it look all pretty again. So what better way to hide something than somewhere where no one can dig? Sorry, I'm not reading all this out loud. I just figured to leave all the information on the screen so you can pause it, read it. So let's take a look at this golf course. It's not very big. It's a very tight golf course. It doesn't take up a lot of area. And this place is so close to where I live. I could, I can almost hit a golf ball from my yard and make it in there probably.
what this place really reminds me of is a star fort and here's kind of a rough outline of the area there's probably a better star in there if I really look at it and also I'm watching some videos and John Levi speaks of it where here's John Levi's channel if you haven't seen him which you probably have if you're into this sort of thing he has many great videos on the reset and mud flood and free energy and stolen history and fake history and many many things but he also talks about airports ancient airports and the angles and layouts of some parts of the ground and I noticed this Was this an airport? I don't know. Maybe. But Star Four is more like it, even with the river running through the middle of it like that. And we all know how like the controllers like to hide things in plain sight. And I thought, what better way to hide things in plain sight and laugh and mock at us than with mini golf? Because when you think of mini golf, what kind of things come to mind? Tiny buildings, windmills, lighthouses, stone structures, and red brick. Castles and dragons. with their antiquitech and spires. I mean, are they trying to hide something from us? What are they trying to tell us? I mean, think about it. They like to laugh in our face. Stone blocks. Red brick. More red brick. Lots and lots of red brick. And when I look at these, I almost get the same feeling as I do as looking at old buildings. Something magical, something mystical, something more than what we've been told. And here we have tiny buildings inside a building on a golf course. Building, building, golf course. Old and new together. And what kind of machine is that? All these whimsical. And laugh in our face. So I just thought I would share this, my thought with you, and that many golf courses could actually be mocking us, and laughing at us, and hiding the truth in plain sight. We want to know.
So I thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. 99% of my viewers have not subscribed yet. It would really help my channel. Also, like, comment, share. And as always, seek the truth.